Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how you can get a push notification when you receive an email from your boss. For email, I'm going to use Microsoft Office 365's mail application and for SMS notification, I'm going to use Twilio. You can use any other application like SMS Horizon, Autopilot, etc. But the minor problem here is there is no direct connection between Office 365 and Twilio. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new mail will arrive from your boss, Pabli Connect will automatically send SMS notification on phone via Twilio. And you know what the best part is? There is no requirement for coding knowledge in this whole process. And any non-technical person can also use it easily. So let's begin with the process. Okay, so this is email application and here this particular girl that is Ashi received email from her boss. That is from any Malhotra and this is a work message. Okay, work email. So here the email message is, hello Ashi, have you accomplished your all tasks today? Please send reports as soon as possible. Okay, so have a look here. This is her boss and this is the email ID of her boss. Okay, so what she want? She want whenever this particular boss or this mail ID will come to her email or will get a mail from this email ID, she want a SMS push notification. So how it is gonna be done? Let me show you. So just click on new tab and type pabli.com in the browser. Pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I have already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. Okay, so this is my account. Here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, and this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here you have to create the workflow. For this, you have to click on this create workflow button. Okay, here you have to name your workflow. So the workflow name is Microsoft OneDrive, sorry, Microsoft Office 365. Twilio. Okay, now click on create. Okay, so this is the name of your workflow. Here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. So whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. These two windows are known as, this is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. You might be thinking what is this trigger or action. Let me tell you, automation works on the concept of triggers and actions. Tr trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this use case, that is Microsoft Office 365 to Twilio, whenever a new mail arrives from your boss is like trigger and send SMS notification on phone via Twilio is action. Okay, so that's how it is going to work. So for the very first, we have to connect our Microsoft Office 365 with Pabli, then Pabli with Twilio. Okay, so this is the main connection. Here we have to choose the trigger application first in the trigger window. And this application is Microsoft Office. Okay, 365, wonderful. Okay, now you have to choose a trigger event. So trigger event is new mail. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to connect your Microsoft Office 365 to Pabli. So for that, you have to click on connect. Okay, and you have to click on connect with Microsoft Office 365. Okay, so click here and it will ask for the access. That means Pabli asks for the access. You can trust Pabli. It is 100% safe to use and can give access. So here click on yes. Okay, so that's how we have successfully connected Microsoft Office to Microsoft Office 365 to Pabli. Okay, now here it will take expiry date by default. You can add according to yourself. But here now I'm going to click on save and send test request because we have already received new mail, this one. Okay, so I'm trying to get this information in my Pabli connect here. Okay, so clicking on save and send test request. 
okay taking some time not to worry okay so here we have received our details wonderful so this one okay so here it is created so yeah we have successfully connected now what we are going to do we are receiving a new mail for that we have to click on waiting for webhook response okay and we'll send a new mail from a different id okay just to check whether it is receiving the response or not so click on it and send e email from another account so this is my just a random testing account so from here i'm going to send email on that particular id okay so the id is ashi rai 824 at the rate outlook.com okay subject is work okay and here again i'm writing a random message so that is hello ashi have you finished the project okay so yeah this is just a simple mail now i'm going to send it and going back to this outlook to check whether we received a mail or not okay okay so here is the mail this is the mail okay hello ashi have you finished the project okay so this is the mail from her boss let's say okay so here going back to public connect and here we have received the response okay and now which response let me just tell you okay so here we have got all the details but where are the message details are you able to see them no because there is the information in this source in this resource url okay so let me just maximize it okay so here this link or this particular url contains all the information of the message sender message email i sender's email id and everything okay so from here we will get all the information how let me just tell you you have to add another action window and you have to add another action application for that you have to choose microsoft office again okay microsoft office 365 wonderful now here our event will be get resource okay because we have the resource url and we want to capture all the information that are hidden inside that url okay so again we have to connect our microsoft office to pably and here connect with microsoft office 365 yes and here again it will ask for the access you can give the access it is 100 percent safe to use so yes okay okay so the authorization is successful and we have successfully connected okay so here url so we can map the url directly from this window okay so these details can be mapped easily so here i'm going to click on this new mail microsoft office and here i'm going to choose that resource url okay so okay so this is the url this one okay so just click here and click on save and send as request okay so the response received that means we have captured all the details okay so let's have a look okay so created date time and uh, the subject is work okay body preview hello ashi have you finished the project okay and all the mail ids that is sender email address animalotra and this is email id okay so everything is with us now wonderful now what we have to do we have to add a filter which filter suppose you are getting many mails in your inbox okay but what you want you want the particular sms notification from your boss 
that means whenever your boss send you an email you want to receive that on phone as sms notification so for that we have to add a filter like when a sender is this particular person then only send sms notification okay so how we will add that let me just tell you here you have to choose filter by pably okay and here you have to add the condition okay so if this happens to this then only proceed okay so here we have to choose the particular selected id okay so here i'm going to click on id okay just let me scroll it okay so this one sender email address id okay so here i'm going to add the email id of the particular person or my boss okay so here i'm going to add the id it as malhotra any 930 at the rate gmail.com okay wonderful now when the sender email address equals to this then only send sms notification on phone via twilio is our condition now okay so we have successfully set the condition now save and send as request okay so it is success and condition is true that means whenever this condition is filled then only you will get sms notification on your phone so here for next step we have to uh, we have to click on this plus button and choose action window and action ex application as twilio okay so here it is twilio this time wonderful okay so twilio and the action event is send sms message okay wonderful now once more let me just show you this my twilio account okay so this is my twilio account now i will connect pably with twilio how let me go just back to pably connect and here i'm going to click on connect okay and here we are requiring this account sid and authorization token okay so for that we have to click on this click here button okay here so just click here and you will be able to see this api or these ids okay so yeah scroll it down and uh, yeah here is the id s id so just copy it from here just copy it go back to pably connect and here paste it and same as here in the down section okay now authorization token for that you have to go back to again this twilio and just make it visible and copy it okay now copy and paste it over here okay so yeah this is done and now click on save now you have saved the credentials and you have successfully connected pably with twilio now here we have to fill these details and these details can be easily mapped from the above window like from here and from here everything okay so yeah just go back to our action window of twilio and yeah here body of the sms body of the sms we can keep it simple hello ashi you have a new mail from your boss okay so this is the body of the sms okay and here you have to add the sender number okay so the sender number is basically i'm going back to twilio and here this is the sender number so i'm just copying it from here only okay let me just copy it wonderful now click on copy or directly copy it from control plus c okay so this is done and going back to this public connect and here i'm adding the sender number okay this is the sender number and here recipient number so recipient number is add plus nine one okay plus nine one and the number okay so this is the number 
and here you have to follow these formats always okay so yeah plus nine one and now i'm going to click on save and send as request okay so here the response received and the status is sent okay so here the message body is hello ashi you have a new mail from your boss okay so this is just a basic uh, body of the sms that, that i have mentioned you can add any any of the body sms that you want okay so yeah here we have done we have successfully connected now i'm going back to twilio account just to see whether it has sent successfully message or not okay so here on these three dots and yeah programmable messaging and yeah this is a dashboard and yeah this we just delivered okay so clicking on it and here all the details of the message are visible this is the body same that we have typed or we have written there and we have successfully sent the message via twilio okay so going back to public connect and minimizing the windows okay this one this one okay this one and this one okay so what we have done basically we have connected microsoft office 365 with pabli then pabli with twilio in which manner let me just show you again first we have connected this microsoft office 365 as a new mail then we have received one url and no details so for that we have added another action window and we have received all the resource details through that link okay then we have added a filter because we want the sms notification only when my boss only my boss sends an email to that mail okay so this was the condition and when this condition is true then only it will work further okay so this is twilio and here we have connected pabli with twilio in the last that's how we worked okay so i hope you found the video helpful if you have any queries please visit pabli.com the links are given in the description box you can directly sign up and thank you for watching thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe the video thank you